Well, let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim Ord every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, I, I sent you over three charts. Did you happen to get them? I have them. I have them. Right. Uh, okay. All right. It, we'll take a uh, look at that VIX chart. Okay, let's um, see. Uh, uh, which is chart number one, and it's a it's kind of it's not a huge divergence here, but this is an hour chart, and the uh, the second window up from the bottom is the uh, SPY, and a window above that is the hourly uh, VIX. So I wanted to show you what's kind of going on here when you got the VIX rising along with the SPY is usually has a bearish sign, and I noticed those. Uh, this is an hour chart, so this is kind of a not a major divergence, but it is still a divergence. But uh, this chart goes back to uh, last August, so I guess it's close to a year going back. But we had a divergence back in December 2022, and we had another divergence in February of this year, and uh, pretty much didn't have any divergence. And now we've been having divergence. Since it looks like about mid June on here, and you both got, even though the VIX is still low, it's around 14 and change. Yes. Or uh, thir 13 and change. It's still higher than it was in mid June, even though the SPs are higher. And so this is like nothing real major, but it tells me probably the upside is, is coming to an end. Uh, but in my opinion, there's really no major top here forming is probably more of a sideways pattern. Okay. Um, so, anyhow, I got out of my position on Friday. Yeah. And I'm kind of just sitting here. And, you know, today, you know, the old Weisskopf method, we're testing the previous high we had here. What was it last? Uh, today's Tuesday. It'd be what? Last Wednesday we're testing that high. Yes. And, and most likely, you know, if, I'm just eyeballing it here, but probably we're going to have lighter volume than the previous high of last Wednesday, and that's uh, that's a little bit more bearish. You know, the FOMC meeting's tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern announcement. Right. And, um, so it's, and right it's, after the close, Tim, we have Google and Microsoft coming out with numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, could be, it definitely could put some short-term volatility in the market. So, I mean, it's, it's not like screaming bearish here, but, you know, the bullish lean kind of went away. It didn't really turn super I'm with you. bearish yep. here, but... You know, we're starting to, to see some signs. And also, uh, the weakest quarter of the year starts uh, July 7th and runs into October 7th. Okay. And we're, and we're in that period now. Uh, let's flip to uh, the next chart. Okay. This this looks like, this looks in the bigger picture. And it goes back quite a ways, to back to 2017. But I do a lot of stuff with the trend. Trend, to, to me, kind of measures kind of a euphoric but it works best at bottoms tops it's it just kind of gives you some warnings but uh, the bottom window is a 10-day average of the trend yes uh, the next window higher is a 21 day the next window higher is a 6-3 day yes so you got basically two weeks a month and three month time frames and the beginning of uh looks like about july they're right smack beginning of july all through all three of those time frames uh, uh hit in bearish uh, categories and that's that pink area i got showed there is uh so anyhow when you get the trend that low for three months in a row which is that six three day thing and you know it's the upside starts to weaken some yeah so you, you need i guess you need panic you need fear in the market for it to, for it to move higher and if it's Going up with really no fear, and that's kind of what we're having right now. Because uh, uh, according to the trend, anyhow, you know the upside, you know, gets choppy if not you know a little bit weak. I mean, if you also notice, I got the um, SPY circled there uh, on top, which right. is the top one. Uh, so anyhow, we're running into the uh, you know those highs we had back in early 2022, right smack at them. And uh, so that's kind of a, a resistance zone. You know, it could be, you know, we run into that zone, back off and go up again, you know, maybe create a, a trading range here. But Yeah, you know, it's interesting, uh, Tim. Remember, you, it, when you had showed us that 
the last time that we just pulled on, we only pulled on a little, the panic, uh, the, uh, yeah, the panic, right, came in the market very quickly, didn't it, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Matter of fact, I got out, and also, you know, like the first day down, you know, the trend really got high. I'm thinking, well, this thing didn't go down much. It went down for a couple more days right. after I got in. But, you know, that, that signaled uh, some energy to the market to the upside. So I'm thinking, well, this thing's not done yet. Right. And n now uh, we kind of backed off, you know, not this week, but last week. And uh, the trend on that back off was, you know, like 1.85. Really didn't have any energy to get going higher again. So, and, you know, we've been rallying up here. Yesterday, we, you know, we broke above. Uh, a couple of previous highs of uh, it'd be Thursday and, and Friday of last week, and we broke above those minor as a minor high on lighter volume yesterday. And uh, now today we're above that. You know, will today's volume be higher than it was in the previous high of last week? You know, it doesn't look like it. So I'm thinking we're running in a little bit of trouble here. You know, I don't think there's a big short lining up. Uh, that still may happen, but. No, yeah, no, I that's what. That's why I kind of brought around I, here. Right, no, I'm with it. That's why I brought up the aspect of the last time we had a small pullback, and because there was like panic. I mean, that's so, that was so intriguing to me. Like when you were explaining that, because I could see how that could happen again. Because I, I think there's a lot of people, including myself, that are nervous up here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, man. You know, listen, I heard this stat today. Listen to this stat, Tim. This is wild. Because one of the big money managers at uh, Morgan Stanley, that was a big bear, right? He threw in the towel yesterday, right? But the stat, Bloomberg came out with this stat this morning. What the stat was is that when you go over a 76.8 retracement from the low, the bear market low, which we just did, not since right. 1929, has that not gone to a higher high? Isn't that wild? Okay. Oh, the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. We. I didn't do the actual statistics, but we're you know we're way over sixty one point eight. Yeah. No. So, we're, we went. We were. We we're over the seventy six point eight. So when I heard that stat, I'm saying to myself, this is intriguing. They, you know. Anyway, I just wanted to throw it out there because it is intriguing. But at the same time, I can picture that you get a short term pullback. And you have that going, and then, you know, there's a little panic. Stay right there, Tim. We got a quick break, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming right. right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 63, NASDAQ's up 113, S&Ps are up 18. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 63. We get the NASDAQ up 110, the S&Ps are up 17. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And, okay, so, Tim, you want to go to the next shot? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we can go to the next one. This is... Oh no, we it's can stay. We a, can stay with the trend. Yeah, no, we. Pardon? Just tell me who you want to do. Okay, number number three be good. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, it's just this is just a real simple thing, and it's, it's like kind of a no brainer. But this is a short term. Doesn't look at the big term. In other words, this okay. thing can turn bearish next week. But uh, the bottom window is the 18 day average of the advanced decline percent for GDX. Next window up is the uh, uh, GDX up down volume percent. And in a nutshell, if they're above minus 10, both of them, the market's in an uptrend period. And if it's down, below minus 10, market's in, GDX is in a downtrend period. And they both turned up, you know, pretty much close to July 1st. Both tend up, turned up above minus 10. And even though the market uh, did retrace here last week a little bit, both those indicators remain well above minus 10. So, uh, you know, we're in the 20s right now, both of them, you know, around the 25 plus 25 range. Yes. Uh, so um, we're in uptrend. So and it's, it's nothing really, you know, how far we'll go, we don't know. But as long as that remains blue, I guess you might say, that's when both indicators are above uh, minus 10. Uh, the uptrend should continue, and I went back as far as you could go. I forgot, when, when did GDX begin? Uh, I think it began in 2011, maybe. Um, let me get it for you right now. But I know I love this chart, Tim, because, you know, I love it so much is that what you had is that you had the uh, aspect of 
the uh, even though the um, 2006, 2006, 2006 May, May 22nd, right. 2006, yeah. Okay. You know, because even when it was going sideways, I mean, you know, the GDX, you know, pulled back a little. It had some real good strength. We had a couple of days of strength, you, but you just pulled back. But yet that this stayed higher, much higher, actually, which is pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It, it kind of, it, well, it's got the advanced climb in it, and it's got up, up down volume in it. Right. So it really, on a short-term basis, it really shows what's going on in the market. And, so, you know, it's... If I went back to 2006 as far as you could take it back. Yes. And it really it doesn't spin year round. When both of them are up above, you know, minus 10. Right. Uh, it's, it's going to keep going. How long? Don't know. Don't care. I know. <laughs> you know? Well, I do care. But I'm you with know, you. once it turns down, then, you know, you take your profit and or you go short. You don't, you know. Sure. Know. But right. Even that last high we had back in, in April, you know, it got pretty close to the highs there. Right. You know, and, and, even though the market went back up and tested that high in in May, both those indicators remain weak. Right. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so big time. Um, but, so it, it catches the trend. So it doesn't really worry about the the wiggles, you know. And uh, but you know, to me, I'm thinking this this thing's going to remain blue. In my opinion, all the way in October, you know. Right. Uh, don't right. know if that really happened or not, but. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably a good chance, but this is a, a good indicator for you know playing options too, right? You know, on a, right, you know, because the windows are, are anywhere from a month to I think I've seen one last for about six months on this, but most of them are a month to three month type time frames, which is perfect for option trading. No, big so, time, big time. There's no doubt about that. Pretty wild, man. So, Tell them. Yeah. yeah, so. But anyhow, I just I wanted to present that to you. It's kind of like a, it's, it's, you don't have to do a lot of thinking, you know. Right. No, I'm no, just, I'm with you. And we know, you know, particularly, well, the market's trend, period. But in the gold market, man, <laughs> gold trend's like a monster. I mean, if it's going up, it likes to go up a long way. If it's going down, it likes to go down a long way. So this is always yeah. a cool little tool to have in your toolbox. No doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, so... Anyhow, I wanted to just point, point that out. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, but uh, right now we're in a bullish trend, and and how long, don't know. And um, but you know, it could be months. I think it's I think it's going to go on for October. So yeah, we'll, we'll so it, it'd see. be really interesting. So. You know, we tomorrow at two. I mean, you're 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 almost well. You're at highs. Tomorrow at two, we get the Fed announcement, so it's going to be really intriguing because, I mean, because you know, the market expectation is like, okay, you're going to come up with a quarter point, and of course, the whole key is, is that, okay, what is what is the statement going to be like? Okay, we're going to, you know, continue to go up, or is there going to be another pause? Uh, you know, what, what, where, where are they going to go with the the structure, the interest rate structure here, which, you know, no doubt is going to affect everything. So this is going to be intriguing. Right. I, I think, yeah, I think the market's kind of, at least how I'm reading it, anyhow, that it may just kind of flip sideways. I think the quarter points all, all obviously is already built in because the market's rallying into that. And there's yes. a 90% uh, uh, consensus that it is going to be a, a quarter point read. So it's already, you know, cape baked into the market. Right. What the market does after that, I don't know. Um, right. But right. That's, that's the problem. I, I don't see anything real bearish here. Right. I just see some minor divergences, and and uh, but we'll, we'll see. But you know, we'll get some panic again because we need some panic in the market to build energy here to get going to the upside again. Is that one chart I showed you in that ten day, you know, the twenty one day and the six three day average? Oh yeah, it got, it got pretty low. It's running out of kind of energy to you know running out of panic for to keep this driving market going higher. Right. So I, I'm thinking we need some back and forth here to build some energy. And uh, and I, I think year in we're going to be higher than what we are right now. No, but, I know. I, I remember the first time you said that. And you know, I can picture. I you know, it's going to be intriguing here, folks. Is that I can picture, you know, because of the last downtrend, you know, the panic came in really quick. I can picture the same thing happening. And if that's what happens, well, you know, we'll be ready for it. I mean, that's what's really pretty cool yeah. here because, uh, you know, if they is up that yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, we know the signs to look for when. When we start seeing panic, you, you don't get scared with the crowd, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, 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 you're 
it, which was separates us. So we're not the crowd anymore. We're part of the, um, I don't know, call it smart money, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so, well, the thing that's just so intriguing about this Meaning that if you just get a shallow retracement and you have such a panic, and I can picture why there would be such a panic, you know, because we've gone up so far. That's on one side, but on the other side, you know, because we've been in inflation for so long, you know, the bottom line is that when you look at higher numbers, that doesn't mean that we can buy more with that higher number. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, a dollar is not worth what a dollar was five years ago, man. Not even close. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, okay, close, yeah. you got a higher number. Okay, well, you got a higher number. Okay, but now if you cash that in and want to go buy something with it, well, you're not going to be able to buy as much as you bought, you know, five years ago. If, it, if we're talking yeah. about the same number, that it would be. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, after watching Zimbabwe, remember, we, I mean, you were on the air with me when we watched Zimbabwe go to the moon. <laughs> Um, right, that's the, right. Yeah, in yeah, the stock yeah. market, and it was like, okay, yeah, that was all about inflation. You know what I mean? I think it was, you know, it was going up thousands of points every day, folks. It was insane. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah, man, so. you have a great night, a safe night, and uh, we'll uh, look forward to talking to you Thursday, Tim. All right. Talk Thank to you, you then. Okay.